Today, I'd like to talk about commandment number six, you shall not kill. And it is not an easy subject for these days. Why did God have to tell us you shall not kill? Didn't he form the first Israeli army when we left Egypt 4,000 years ago? There's a difference between killing and murdering. I believe that it means we shall not commit premeditated murder, no matter how justified we may feel. In 2016, right here in Canada, medical assisted, assisted dying was legalized. We may justify that the person has a right to decide when and how they'll die because living's become too painful. But isn't this in direct opposition to you shall not kill? By doing that, aren't we saying that we are more humane than our creator? On the similar topic, I watched a beautiful movie the other day called My Octopus Teacher, where the hero of the story spends almost a year in an underwater kelp forest, becoming one with nature. And he develops a beautiful relationship with an octopus, which turned out to be quite intelligent. Through this experience, he learned to value the lives of so many underwater creatures. Now, just before she died, his octopus delivered millions of tiny eggs. She was so careful to prepare a special place where they would be protected until they hatched. She knew that each egg held life within it, and she gave her own life so that her babies could live. Why is it that we humans refuse to see that the fertilized egg within the womb of a mother is as precious as these octopus eggs and deserve every chance to live. Yet between 40 to 50 million babies are murdered every year around the world in the name of Planned Parenthood. In either medical assistant dying or abortion, how do we justify them in light of you shall not commit premeditated murder? How do we justify religions murdering in the name of their God? The lesson here is that we are all capable of choosing between right and wrong. How do we know what is right and what is wrong? That's why God gave us the Ten Commandments. And we must understand that there are consequences for our actions, not only for ourselves, but for those all around us in our lives. The last five commandments are about how to treat our fellow man. I think that it's time that we take them to heart so that we can help change the direction that the world is going. Before it's too late, let's bring back the Creator's Ten Commandments. Let me know what you think about this. Thanks for listening, and have a wonderful day.